what is up kryptonians before i get started with the new video if you would be so kind please be sure to like the video share the video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already community's growing the family's getting bigger all that good jazz just if you have a chance it helps with the youtube algorithm nothing wrong with a little bit of self-promotion a little bit of begging before the actual video gets started okay now we can talk about cato lake cato lake is a movie it's a thriller that came out a few months ago on max or hbo max to the uninitiated it's a movie that i actually stumbled upon while i was re-watching penguin like i saw this movie i was like oh i remember the trailer for this movie dylan o'brien sure why not i'm kind of bored then i watched the movie and i was like holy shit i you know what i actually kind of have to talk about this movie now the movie was directed by celine held and logan george i'm not familiar with their game but if you want to look them up i'm sure they've done some pretty cool stuff this movie does star eliza scanlon and dylan o'brien and it's kind of a twisty story that i'm going to be very vague about there is a man living in this place around Caddo Lake and there is a girl living in this place around Caddo Lake and after the sister of the girl ends up going missing what follows is a mysterious mystery in which the forest and surrounding areas surrounding Caddo Lake are not what they seem some heartbreaking family secrets are discovered as they search for this girl and that's really all I can tell you. Definitely gonna be one of the weirdest reviews that I've ever done because I really can't tell you shit about this movie. Like I can, but I won't, if that makes sense. Saw the trailer like months ago, didn't think anything about it. I was like, oh, I'll check it out when I get to it. And then I saw it and I was just kind of like, holy shit, I'm glad I didn't know anything about it. I want you to go into this movie not knowing a damn thing about it because I promise you it's going to hit even harder when you actually watch it. What I can start with is that it is a well-directed, extremely well-shot movie. I actually did not know that Cattle Lake was a real place, so I'm not entirely sure if they shot it on location or just in a place that looked like Cattle Lake, but either way, it's a gorgeous looking movie. There's a lot of big, huge overhead shots, a lot of wide shots, a lot of great shots that take in the water, take in the scenery. You know, you need shots like that in a movie like this that really takes place in a small location. There's not cities, there's not entire boardwalks or anything like that created for this movie. It's really all about this lake and the surrounding areas. So you gotta utilize the cinematography to the best of your ability. And I feel like they did that in this movie. I'm also gonna praise this movie for being very mysterious and very engaging at the same time. There's a lot of information that is hidden from you as an audience member and you kind of have to go into it and discover bits and pieces of it as the characters are discovering it. There's a lot that you don't know and there's a lot that you figure out and the more you figure out, the more questions that you have about everything. The movie is very twisty and it's one of the most surprising scripts that I've seen in a movie this year. I was wondering like, holy shit, these twists are kind of Shyamalan-esque when you get to the end of it. Then I looked up information of the movie and I found out that Shyamalan actually produces this movie, so. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, go figure. Every time I thought I had this movie figured out, it threw me a curveball. It went in a different direction. I was just like, oh, holy sh- Oh, okay, you're, you're doing that. Wow, okay. Yeah, let's go with it. Dylan O'Brien is one of the best actors working today. I'm just gonna say it. I'm not entirely sure that his agent likes him based on the projects that he's been assigned. Putting all of that aside, this guy feels like he could be a superstar if he wanted to be. He has the chops, man. Y'all know you hear a lot of people say like, oh, this guy's got acting chops. This woman has acting chops. Trust me, Dylan O'Brien has got the juice. This dude is great. He would have been a great Spider-Man probably if they had decided to go in that direction. He's all in. It is so great to watch an actor flex like this. And it's not just him. The movie's well acted in general. All the supporting and side characters do their thing too. Also, shout out to Eliza Scanlon. She plays the other main character in this movie and she kills it too. She knocks it out of the park. I was unfamiliar with her game. You have a movie that is ambitious and a movie that is ambiguous. A movie that will ask you questions and not give you all the answers you're looking for. Tense and exciting and interesting and weird. I really dug it. I think most people, if you're down for a good mystery thriller, are going to enjoy the hell out of the movie too. I do have to prepare you though, this movie takes a lot of time to set things up. This is definitely set up the movie in the first half of it. Just to prepare you and warn you for that, this is a slow burn type of mystery thriller. It is not always gonna have the exciting scenes. Sometimes it's just people investigating shit and you just kind of have to wait and see what they find. In that sense, it does feel like there are some pacing issues that pop up every now and then or some slow parts where you feel like maybe they could be getting to stuff a little bit faster. I also do feel like there is an aspect of a relationship involving a character in this movie that I think could have been explored a little bit more and it probably would have made the emotion hit a little bit better at the end of the film. If you're a Dylan O'Brien fan, watch it for Dylan 
Dylan O'Brien. If you don't care about Dylan O'Brien and you like good mystery movies, watch it for that. If you're a Shyamalan fan, know that Shyamalan did not make this movie, but if, if you like Shyamalan, his influence and his touch is all over this thing. You're going to feel it while you're watching the movie. And Cattle Lake was a surprise I did not expect. I'm going to leave this one in the silver rage for Man of Steel. Streaming right now on Max or HBO Max, depending on, you know, what you want to call it. Go ahead and check that out if you get the chance, guys. Those are my thoughts on Cattle Lake. Tell me what movies are you most looking forward to seeing for the rest of the year? Go ahead and put those in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. And if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. Stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.